Right, here we are. This is what we're going to be making today. <laughs> As you can see, I barely um, got enough time to do the intro to the recipe because I've already started eating it all. Um, right, let's start again. Right, <clears throat> good afternoon, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my cooking show. Today we'll be making these beautiful scones. Um, they are absolutely insanely delicious. So please try them and let's get cooking. So firstly, self-raising flour, about a half a pound. Sorry, about a pound, which is uh, 500 grams, which is exactly that. I'm going to get a sieve, and I'm going to sieve that into my bowl beside me there. Just going to sieve that flour now. This is to make sure we get as, as the best rise possible um, from the scones. Or indeed, scones. Now the baking powder will give us that sort of little lift. And we're going to put in a pinch of salt, a teaspoon of sugar. Right, let's combine these. And we're going to then put in our butter. So I've got, I've weighed 150 grams of butter here and what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to slice it up onto a plate and leave it there for about 10 minutes to get to room temperature so it's nice, nice and soft and it will combine easily with the flour. Okay there's our butter all nicely cut up. And we'll leave that for 10 minutes, that'll get nice and soft, and we'll come back. While that um, butter's softening, here is a quarter of a cup of dried cranberries. And we've got the same in raisins as well. Right, now we're going to put our butter, beautiful softened butter. Certainly is a lot sticking now. <laughs> there, and we're just going to use our hands um, to get that into the flour until it's crumbly. Right, now that that's all rubbed in, we'll add those fruits that we had before. And just evenly distribute them. Just use a spoon to combine firstly it looks like I'm going to need some more milk at the time I don't want the mixture to get too boggy because I want to turn it out onto this board so what we want to do is get a nice sort of tight dough we don't want to overwork it either I'm going to get my hands in there soon, as soon as I can see that I've got the liquid right, that it's all coming together. And I've still got a, oh, quite a bit of dry ingredients down the bottom of the bowl there, which tells me <laughs> I'm short by probably a teaspoon or two. Only. Always the way, in it? Right. Um, I'm going to get my hands in there. So I'll leave the camera running so you can see how this whole thing goes from start to finish. A lot of people sort of give up on recipes because 
as sort of video chefs, I guess you'd call us, we don't um, we don't show everything. We cut out things that we think you might find boring, but they're often the things that you think, oh, well, I wonder what happened then between uh, <laughs> us seeing it in the bowl uh, crumbly and it suddenly being on a breadboard all lovely, you know? So as you can see, that dough there, now, that's beautiful, that's perfect. Right? So, you got to see <laughs> it happen. Here you go, that seems enough. But it's quite, it's quite um, soft. It needs to chill for a bit. So I'm going to put it back in the bowl and put it into the fridge for about half an hour. That'll make it easier to roll out. So this is the baking tray. I've put some baking paper in here. And once we roll out this um, scone dough, uh, and I use this cookie cutter to make the shape, we can then put them on here. So now's a good time to set your oven to 180 degrees. Right, I've floured the board a bit there as you can see and I've also put some milk there and a pastry brush so that we can glaze these scones. Now let's get them out and let's get my, ooh, my trusty rolling pin and let's try and keep it together. It's actually, believe it or not, the fact that these are sort of almost not falling apart but um, are sort of flaking is akin to puff pastry in, in, in some ways. That, um, that sort of crumble need, that crumble, crumble need, crumble, oh, I can't say it. Crumble, crumbliness <laughs> uh, means that you're going to get some air, some lift in them. So let's cut these and brush them lightly and put them onto our baking tray. Come back when I've finished. Alright, there they are. Looking magnificent. I'm just going to check the temperature. And we are there. So I'm going to pop these in 10 to 15 minutes. Alright, let's get them into the oven now. And here you are, straight out of the oven. <laughs> they look absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to wait for them to cool, then I'm going to serve them, and you will absolutely melt. Now, this is the perfect example of the rise you should get from your scone. You see how it's split a little bit there in the middle? Well that was the original height of the scone. So you can see it's doubled in height. Right, this is about 150 mils of cream. That's a teaspoon of sugar. And now we're going to whip it. So I'll come back in a minute. Whipping is mostly noisy and boring, so I'll <laughs> come back when it's all nicely done. Okay, there you go. The, that is definitely nicely whipped. So get your nicely baked scone in half. Firstly, on with the cream. So first, on with our cream. Don't need to be too shy about this. The cream's not going to tell anyone. 
Yeah. Oh, look at that. Then, this is my favourite. It's Barker's um, from Geraldine in the South Island of New Zealand. Blueberries and cranberries on serve. And their logo, actually on the jar here, says more fruit and less sugar. I can tell you, these guys have got it absolutely right. A bit greedy there with the... So nice. And what we're going to do is just arrange some strawberries here. with our scones and I'm going to put a light dusting of icing sugar on there too and there you go that is the perfect way to have scones I hope you enjoyed this and I really really hope you make them um, I'm going to try one of these now, uh, and um, I'll tell you what it what it's like. No, I won't. I'll film it. All right, let's taste one of these. I think, <laughs> as you can see, I did another batch because I forgot to butter the first lot. But here we go. <laughs> Oh, mamma mia. These are insane. Wow. Sorry. I will catch you on the next recipe. Thank you so much for watching. Please make these. They're insane.